We gotta talk real quick. Sorry, we getting ready for rehearsal. To pull cack. What's the problem? Okay, let's. Oh wait, this fan is on. Hold on. Okay. I'm tired. Mika allegedly got broke up with. <laughs> Get into it. Okay, so last night. You're not saying like just like. Much better. Last night, Meek Mills decided to drop his new diss track, or his first diss track, in response to the two diss tracks that Drake dropped five whole days ago. Was it seven days? Monday. Took it for a drink on Tuesday. <clears throat> um, I don't know what he was doing on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. <clears throat> but Friday night, or... Thursday night. Thursday night, which is yesterday night, he dropped this track. It was weak. Weak meek. And what he thought he was going to do, here's how he thought he had Drake. You know, the whole thing started when he was saying that Drake was, um, a, he had a ghostwriter. Like, he doesn't write his own raps. So, he thought, well, let me get the guy who allegedly writes Drake's raps on this track. Thinking, oh, this is going to be good. No, y'all both end up looking like clowns. The diss track was weak. Drake still... Here's the thing, Mickey Mouse. To even believe you're lyrically capable of being on the level that Cinema fan has got to go. To even think you're on the same lyrical level as Drake, lyrically as an artist, is laughable. So, when you think that you about to come together, it was a whole bunch of, what was he saying? Um, I can't remember. It was just, it was annoying. It was very annoying. It's on SoundCloud. <clears throat> it was annoying. It was. Like, I didn't, I didn't want to listen to it because I didn't care that much, but it was just, you know, it's messy, so I had to listen. It was bad. It wasn't, it wasn't even, like, good. Like, at least Drake's this record, I was, like, here for it. And I would actually hear myself bumping this in the car, like, uh, I'm, uh, charging up. What, wait, back to back or charging up? Back to back. Back to back. Something like that. That song. I like that one. Like, it's catchy. I can't even remember how Mickey Mouse's went. Why? Because it was weak. Weak. Weak Meek. That's what they was calling them on Twitter last night. Weak Meek. So, um, <laughs> and then as of allegedly this, um, actually I just got the um, notification. Allegedly Nicki Minaj has broken up with Mickey Mouse. <laughs> All over this, I bet. I didn't think they were going to last long anyway. Because you have Nicki Minaj, who is like, Here's the thing about what people... And you know what? people I don't like what people call them to a power couple. They're not a power couple. This is what a power couple is. A power couple is powerful woman, powerful man, come together, powerful couple. In this case, Nicki Minaj, powerful woman, Mickey Mouse, and not so much. So it's like powerful Nicki. So not necessarily powerful couple. <laughs> no shame, Mickey Mouse, but you know, I, I just say it how I mean it. And how I want to because this is my channel. Anywho, uh, Week Meek, you lose. You and that man that you hired to come talk about Drake allegedly spin the fake tracks or whatever it goes. So um, that's that. I guess <laughs> this should be the end of it. This somebody updated um, Mickey Mouse's um, um, Wikipedia page to yesterday was his death date in Toronto, Canada. <laughs> This beef has been so funny to watch. Like, you have no idea. I've just enjoyed watching this transpire. And I'm going to continue to enjoy watching it. Hopefully, it keeps going. So, let me know what y'all think. Did y'all like Weak Meek's um, diss track? Because most of us didn't. Most of us were pointing and laughing. So, <clears throat> I'm getting ready for her. So, we got the boom cat. So, I love you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the gotcha, gotcha bar. All right. Peace. <laughs>